If YouTube playlists are not your thing, you can find this course and more at poll.unfgames.com. It's easier to follow along and know where you left off. Now, let's start the video. The other one, the other event that is really, really common and useful is the tick event. This is an event that triggers every frame, every tick. So if I put my print string here and this shouldn't crash my engine, but I really don't know. Let's put, press play. It would fill my screen with hello because every frame is that string is being typed. This is mostly avoided, the, the tick event, because doing logic here, um, you really need to come with a good uh, excuse or a good reason for it to work in the event tick. It, it's usually uh, used for animations. Animations, and I'm not meaning like I have my skeletal mesh and I put an animation here. No, I, I mean like little animations. Maybe I want to move the coin here. Well, I need to know each tick, how many units I want to move it. And I can, I, I could do it like this, something like this, maybe. A static mesh coin. I'm going to add a local, local offset. A relative location also is, is fine. And I'm going to put one here. I can connect it. And whenever I press play, I will see my, my blueprints moving. Because every tick, we are adding a relative location. Now, this can be really tricky because maybe you have 10. Uh, no, one one is okay but what happens when okay we're running and let me put this red what would happen with a machine that is running 60 fps and one that is running at low F fps here is running every tick so every tick is adding one. If my X started on zero, at the end of one second, I have run it 60 times. So I have added plus 60 here. So X would be 60. In the case of this machine, it has only run 15 times. So my X would be 50. This would mean that this gameplay mechanic is really connected and it, it's being determined by the FPS, with, which is really not like a good idea because it could probably be unfair to maybe a machine with high specs or could be unfair to low specs. We want the same experience for everyone. So you usually don't do that stuff like this. Uh, but if you wanted to to do it here in the event tick, you need to take in consideration the delta seconds. The delta seconds are the number of seconds that has passed between one frame, the actual frame and the last one. So if Again, I have two machines, one faster than the other one. If my delta seconds was 0 0.08, I can multiply it by one. So in this frame, I'm only adding it 0 0.08. But if my delta seconds were like really high, maybe uh, it was 0 0.5, this would be a uh, the lower end PC, then and, and let me make this not eight. So it it's uh, how can I delete this? 
so it's easier to understand. Maybe this could be 0, 1, and this could be 0, 5. Oh, let's make it a lot easier, 1 and 0, 5. So, in the span of 0 0.10 seconds, this half tick twice, and this has tick 10 times. But, because I'm going to multiply this value, the delta seconds, by my unit, in this case is 1, this will be 0 0.5 times 1, 0 0.5, again, it will give me this value, and this will be 0 0.1 times 1 will be 0 0.1, so if I execute it 10 times, then it doesn't matter, it will return the same value. So, the way to, to mostly fix is not a definite fix, but you can do it like this. Let me right click here and we can show off the split functionality. Split. So, a vector is just three floats. And I'm going to multiply this. delta seconds by any number I want here. It could be 1 or it could be 10 even. Uh, let's put it 5. So this way it doesn't matter how many frames per second I'm executing this, it will always be the same movement on every computer. So that's a way I, we, ca we could use the tick. Just to finish up talking about the tick, you could also disable the tick because maybe you don't you're not really using it and to disable it we just need to go to class defaults start with tick enable now why would you do this it's because whenever we're running unreal during runtime unreal has a list of all the actors that need to, to tick and if this actor is like the one we are using here, that the tick is completely, completely empty, then we are iterating this list like one by one, but it it shouldn't go to this to this event tick because it's, there is nothing there. We don't need it, so it's an extra iter iteration, right? So that way we can. Optimize this, eliminate this class from the from this list, and save a little bit of performance. It, and I, I mean, it's a little bit, but in the long run, it will help a lot. So start tick enabled. Let's remove the check the check here, and we can delete that tick because we're not gonna use it.